Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads video tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to mark conversions as primary or secondary. And I'm going to explain to you the difference between a primary conversion and a secondary conversion. Quick note, there are two Google Ads interfaces. This is the new interface that you see in front of you. So I'm going to show you how to do the same in the new interface and also in the old interface. For those of you who use the old design, you can skip a little bit ahead in this video and you can watch the same tutorial in the old interface. But before you do that, please make sure that you subscribe and you like the video. It really helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance and off we go. So in the new interface, you are going to access your Google Ads account. Then you are going to go on the left hand side and there is this option that is called goals. And under goals, you have this option that is called conversions. So you are going to open conversions. You are going to click on summary. So once you click on summary here, you are going to see all your conversions here, right? So your existing conversions. So all you have to do is you have to click on a conversion action. So let's say we're going to click here. And then once you come to this screen, you're going to click on edit settings. And once you edit settings, under goal and optimization and action optimization, you're going to open this option. And here you can see these two options, primary action or secondary action. So what does this mean? A primary action is basically used by the bidding strategies to optimize your campaigns. So anything that is labeled as a primary conversion is used for the system for optimization purposes. And also the primary conversions are reported under the conversion column. I'm going to show you that in a minute. If we come here and we say that this is a secondary action, this means that this goal is not going to be used for optimization purposes. So the system will ignore these conversions when it comes to adjusting your bidding and optimizing your campaign. And also this conversion is going to be reported under the column that is called all conversions, not under the conversion column. So what does this mean? So once we come here to our campaigns, so let's go to our campaigns. There are basically two columns. One column is called conversions. So you can see it here. And under this column, you can see the primary conversions. And then we have another column here, which is called all conversions. And under this column, you can see primary plus secondary, basically all of them. Now, some of you will say, I cannot see these columns. Fair enough. If you cannot see them, click on columns here and then click on modify columns. And then once you come here, either look for basically the metric here using the search bar or go under conversions, click on the drop down menu and you can add conversions and all conversions and everything else that you want to add. And then from the right hand side here, you're going to customize how your report is going to look like. So let me give you an example. So let's actually keep only all conversions, conversions, conversion rate and cost per conversion. And then here I'm going to actually come and click on apply. And now this is my report here, right? So in case you don't see the all conversions column or the conversions column, again, click on columns and you will be able to add them. in. That's on the new interface that is going to become the norm. Now, most of you at this stage, you probably use the old interface. So I'm going to switch to the previous design and I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. So in the previous design, you are going to go all the way up to tools and settings. Then you are going to click here on conversions under measurement. So let me actually do this properly. Tools and settings under measurement, there is conversions and same drill. So you are going to basically click on your conversion action. You are going to click on edit settings. And then under goal and action optimization, you are going to change this basically from primary to secondary if this is what you want to do. And the reporting works in exactly the same way. So you have basically the same metrics. Also, you have this button that says columns here that allows you to customize the report. 
So that's how easy it is to actually switch a conversion from primary to secondary action and vice versa. Quick advice, use primary for everything that is a hard KPI, sales, leads, and meaningful actions that earn you revenue, and use secondary for actions that are basically top of the funnel. So let's say visits of key pages, how many people visit the features page, the pricing page, they open the form. So maybe you want to actually have visibility on how many people take these actions, but without actually using them for campaign optimization or for your conversion report. That's it. Let me know if you like the new interface. I'm really curious to know. Make sure you subscribe. Have a great day in any time zone.